um, start out by just congratulating Concordia. Um, they're really good. Um, I thought that um, um, I thought we did a really nice job. Our game plan was good, and um, and except for Hanson, we just couldn't stop Hanson. She was pretty pretty amazing. I mean, anytime you hit 471, 20 kills. Um, uh, other than that, I, I thought we we ran our game plan to uh, perfection. So. Um, but that kid got away from us, and as a result, we lost some close games. So, but I'm um, really proud of my team. Um, I thought they gave great effort. Um, yeah, you know, I told them just a second ago that games two were up 23-20, and you know, you would like to think that you have some control at that time, and we kind of let that slip away from us. And, and uh, so, um, I think that was, you know, like the fork in the road, the critical point in the in the match. Okay, questions for the coach or Marissa or Leon? Coach, you just said that um, at, during game two, you guys were up 23-20. What was Concordia doing at the end of those sets that gave the, would end up eventually giving them the upper hand? You know, their serve is nasty. I uh, just don't know how else to say that. I mean, just coming over and it was dancing and, you know, and, and, and you know, we, you, you tell your kids, you know, you got to pass balls, but that's easier said than done sometimes. And the balls, you know, coming over the net and starts doing this stuff to you. So um, that's, they, they were, they just served tough. Um, Leanna, what, can you kind of just give us some commentary? What was the mindset like among the players in the team going up against the defending national champs? I mean, I think we all agreed that we had nothing to lose this game. No one in the whole country, um, we talked about it all the time, no one in the whole country believed we could win, but we did. And that was our mindset going in. We just knew that we had the chance to win, that we would make history, or we had the opportunity to make history, um, taking them down. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. But I think we played like that was what was going to happen. So we're really proud of our team. Marissa, you have anything to add about the effort your team showed today? I mean, I just think Concordia has that legacy in our mindset, which is just try and break it. Coach, you had a nice performance from Taylor Self. Did you expect that today? That well, you hope for it. You hope, you know, you, you know. And what we talked about more so than anything was we needed, you know, we call them for us. It's the big three. We needed, you know, these two to get double figures. Maybe even Sarah to get double figures. And I don't even know what Sarah wound up with. Uh, seven. Yeah. So she had three seventy-five. So she had a nice match too. Um, um, but we we needed to get something out of. Uh, additionally, a little bit out of Maddie and a little bit out of Taylor, and, and we got we got a lot out of Taylor. You know, I thought Taylor, you know, really, you know, <laughs> freshman. She's not, you know, really kind of filling in for an injured kid, and I thought she played really, really well. Coach, uh, something that for me was a little different than what we're used to seeing up here is you guys seem to have a smaller team and you attack a lot out of the back row, and it seemed to kind of confuse Cordy at the beginning. Was that something you guys kind of game planned, or was it just no. kind of worked out that way? No, it's just part of our system. You know, we, we and we basically with Lee more so than anything. Um, and you know, if Marissa gets in that rotation, we play her in the back row. We certainly give it to her too, but most, more so for Lee than anything else, because Lee's Lee, really the biggest thing is is that when she swings out of the back row, she just doesn't have any fear. And if she makes a mistake, you know, well, you know, she just still beats it up. So we're okay with it.